Qualcomm stock currently trades at $133 per share, roughly 30% below its pre-inflation shock high of $189, seen in December 2021, and has the potential for meaningful gains. QCOM saw its stock trading at around $128 in late June 2022, just before the Fed started increasing interest rates, and is now about 4% ahead of that level, underperforming the broader markets, considering that the S&P 500 rose almost 21% over this period. The tough performance in Qualcomm QCOM stock over the recent past can be attributed to a considerable slowdown in the smartphone and tablet market, amid cooling consumer spending and weaker demand for computing and mobile devices post-COVID-19. Over Q4 FY23, the most recent quarter, Qualcomm reported that revenue declined 24% year-over-year to $8.67 billion, with handset chip sales down 27% to $5.46 billion. There have been some positive developments for the stock as well, with Qualcomm announcing in September that it had extended an agreement with Apple AAPL to supply modem chips to the iPhone maker until 2026. Apple was expected to use an internally developed 5G modem starting in 2024 but is facing some setbacks with its development. Looking at the slightly longer term, QCOM stock has seen little change, moving slightly from levels of $150 in early January 2021 to around $135 now, versus an increase of about 25% for the S&P 500 over this roughly three-year period. Overall, the performance of QCOM stock with respect to the index has been lackluster. Returns for the stock were 20% in 2021, minus 40% in 2022, and 21% in 2023. In comparison, returns for the S&P 500 have been 27% in 2021, minus 19% in 2022, and 20% in 2023 indicating that QCOM underperformed the S&P in 2021 and 2022. In fact, consistently beating the S&P 500 in good times and bad, has been difficult over recent years for individual stocks. For heavyweights in the information technology sector including AAPL, MSFT, and NVDA, and even for the megacap stars Goog, TSLA, and AMZN. In contrast, the Trefa's high-quality portfolio, with a collection of 30 stocks, has outperformed the S&P 500 each year over the same period. Why is that? As a group, HQ portfolio stocks provided better returns with less risk versus the benchmark index. Less of a roller coaster ride as evident in HQ portfolio performance metrics. Given the current uncertain macroeconomic environment with high oil prices and elevated interest rates, could QCOM face a similar situation as it did in 2021 and 2022 and underperform the S&P over the next 12 months, or will it see a strong jump? Returning to the pre-inflation shock level means that Qualcomm stock will have to gain 42% from here. However, we do not believe that will materialize anytime soon and estimate Qualcomm valuation to be around $138 per share implying modest gains. This is because of an expected decline in earnings and revenue in the near term due to a weak smartphone market and lower modem demand.